welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing two die sets, the Outside In Stitched Speech Bubbles and the Stitched Speech Bubble Frames. These die sets are so fun and they work really well together. And today in this video, we're gonna be making two super cute cards, one with an opening and a shaker card too. So these are the Outside In Stitched Speech Bubbles. And I love these dies so much because of course they create a stitched speech bubble, but they also create a stitched speech bubble opening. So there's two different looks you can get out of it. You can use the speech bubble or you can use that super cool opening to create shaker cards or really cool kind of visual look on your card that we'll be showing you later. There's also a cute little scripty high that's included in this set. These are the stitched speech bubble frames, and these frames are super, super cool. I love them because you get a cool frame, and then you also get this nice little oval on the center, and I like either dropping that oval in in a contrasting color, or I just like using the ovals on cards too. It's a nice little focal point on a card. There's also a cute little heart which you can put in the speech bubbles too. These two die sets work together, so you can take that really cool frame there and pop it right into that stitched speech bubble opening. And that's a really, really cool look, and it's really great for creating a really fun built-in shaker element on your cards. The other way to use these speech bubble frames is to actually layer them onto the speech bubbles too. And we're gonna be doing that today in the video. And you can see how bold and amazing that looks, having that really nice frame overlapping onto the speech bubble base. One of my favorite things to do with these outside in and frame sets is create shaker cards. So I've die cut the speech bubble there out of some white cardstock, and then we're gonna take the frame die and we're gonna run that through with some peacock cardstock and we're gonna run that through a bunch of times. So we're gonna be creating our shaker card by stacking all of those peacock speech bubbles. And that's a really fun way to create a shaker card. Another way that you can do it is you can actually run that frame die through with some fun foam in your die cut machine and then use that fun foam, you know, from the the kids section in the craft store as the base for your shaker. So there you can see I'm using some of our new acetate, which is so nice and sturdy. I just love it. We ran that through the die cut machine and now we've got our great window. So the first step is to start stacking all of these pieces to create a well for our sequins to shake around in. So I'm going to add some liquid glue and then layer this whole frame onto that speech bubble base. I'm going to be using really colorful sequins, so that's why I'm creating the base with white cardstock. Then after that, we can repeat the same thing. We're going to add some liquid glue to that frame, and we'll layer another peacock frame on top. And then we're gonna move in fast motion here. We're gonna keep layering liquid glue and then more of those cardstock pieces until we have a good height for those shaker pieces to really be able to move around in. So I really love how this is looking and I love the bold peacock cardstock on the white. I just love the contrast of the two. So now here you can see how we've got this really nice kind of well for our shaker pieces to move around in. I'm going to take my powder tool and run it all along the inside of this, just in case any of that liquid glue might have seeped out and created some stickiness there. By adding the powder, it's going to remove that stickiness so that our sequins can move around really nicely. So I'm just going to dump a bunch of rainbow colored sequins in here because I wanted this to be a really happy rainbow card. And you can see how amazing they look on that white backdrop. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use some eighth inch tape to attach the acetate. You can actually use the liquid glue for this too, but I didn't have the patience to wait for the liquid glue to dry on the acetate. So instead I'm using the eighth inch tape. We're just going to run that all along the edges there of that frame, and then we'll peel up the liner paper and we can attach the acetate to the top. And this is what's going to form the whole shaker mechanism and be the window to the inside of these moving sequins. Once we've got that guy on there, the finishing touch is to add one more frame. And that frame is gonna cover it up so that you can't see any of that adhesive there. It's really gonna give it a nice finishing touch. And I love seeing those sequins move around there. It's so happy. It's like a little party in a shaker, right? <laughs> so these speech bubbles are actually sized to work with most of our scripty words. So in this case, I'm going to use the scripty hello, but I love that you could use this same idea for any of the scripty words, and it's just a nice bold look. So I've die cut the scripty hello out of some white cardstock, and I really love that because you can really see the colors of the sequins then floating behind it. I've got out the really rainbow 6x6 six six pad because of course we've got the rainbow sequins, we need some rainbow paper, and we're going to layer that onto a standard size card base. Then I'm going to use some liquid glue to the back of that whole shaker mechanism, and I like this because the liquid glue takes a little bit of time to dry, so I can kind of push that whole thing around, making sure that it's really in the center of the card. 
And this card is all done. It was super quick and easy to do. And it's so adorable and just happy and fun. I absolutely love shaker cards. Next up, we're going to be using the outside in dies to create an opening in the card. But I also wanted to just give you a look at the card that we made earlier in the Say What Pets and Critter Chatter video. So we use that opening as a way to highlight a really cool background. So you can get super creative with these. I'm just so excited to see what you guys end up doing with them. So now that we've kind of looked at that way to do that, and I'll make sure to link that video in the description below, we're also going to now create a stitched opening that's gonna go into the center of the card. So right here we have some of the spring fling paper and we're gonna use the B side of that paper and layer that onto a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. Then we'll open up the card base and we're gonna use one of the outside in speech bubbles here. We're gonna layer that right into the center of card and hold it in place with some washi tape, run it through the die cut machine, and that's gonna create a really cool stitched opening. The other great thing is that we're gonna also have that st stitched speech bubble there to use on another card. So I love that you get two cards out of one die cut. So now that we have that opening going to the inside of the card, we wanted to add some color to the card. So we're gonna be taking a paper from Really Rainbow Scallops. Its color is called the Unicorn Mane because it's got the whole rainbow in there and it's absolutely adorable. And so we're gonna layer that into the center of the card. And now when you look through that speech bubble, you get that great rainbow paper. So these guys here are from For You Dear and Slow Down and Enjoy. And they're originally meant to be bookmarks, but what's really cool about them is this die creates a really cool way for them to kind of grab onto things. And in this case, we're gonna have them grab onto this speech bubble opening, which is so cute, especially because it looks like they're all talking. So we're gonna hook them all on the opening of that and then add just a little liquid glue under their paws to secure them to the front of the card. Then the next thing that we're going to do is open it up to the inside of the card and then layer their little bums on the inside. And that's what's so fun about this set is that when you open up the card, it's just as adorable. You can see also that Shari stamped a little heart there on the bear and I love the little heart on his bum. It kind of reminds me of Care Bears. So we're gonna add some liquid glue to the back and layer those on there. And so now it's gonna look like the elephant, bear, and sloth are hanging out on the outside. And then you can actually see what they look like from the other side of that window opening. Next up, we've die cut some sentiment banners out of some black licorice cardstock, and we're gonna stamp on them with some clear embossing ink, which is a nice sticky ink. We'll pick up some white heat embossing powder and then heat that with the heat tool. And the cool thing about this is that it's gonna give this nice bold sentiment with so much going on with that rainbow pattern in the background. So now that these are all heated up and looking nice and bright and white and shiny, we're gonna add some adhesive to the back and then use the front of the card as a guide as to where that should go onto the base. We'll do the same thing with the other one and I love this sentiment, the hang in there, you've got this. This card would just make someone feel so much better because it is just so cute and fun. And we're just gonna trim off any of the excess on those banners. And then to finish the card up, we've die cut a bunch of the hearts from the hearts dies out of some guava cardstock. And I love these hearts because there's a bunch of different sizes and they work really great as confetti and decorations on cards. So we'll add a little more liquid glue and add that last heart. And that's it, the card is all done and it's so cute when you open it up, you've got their little bums on the inside and I love the idea that you're peeking into the center of the card, it's just a fun and cool card design. So next up, we have some super cute cards by the design team. Elena's card is just gorgeous and she used the speech bubble opening from the outside in speech bubble as a way to highlight her sentiment in her really cool ink blended sky. And I absolutely love that look. Then here we have a fun card by Kay that uses the same idea of using the speech bubble to highlight a sentiment, but instead she used the inside part of the speech bubble. So I think it's really cool, two totally different looks, just depending on what kind of card you're going for. Here in this card by Lynette, she has that cute little peacock from Peacock Before and Afters, and he's got the fun sentiment in his speech bubble. And I absolutely love how Melissa incorporated these really cool speech bubbles on her layout. It's a really good place to put your journaling. And I absolutely love how she cut the little flowers out of the paper and layered them on top. It's so sweet. This card by Letitia is so fun. She's got her peacock hanging out in the speech bubble. And I love that watercolor pattern. 
And then here, Elise shows us how the scripty words are a perfect fit for these speech bubbles. We've got the hellos, and then she has another series with the thanks using the spring fling papers and mixing and matching the front and the backs of the papers together. Here I love how Shari used the frames without the backing piece to highlight her die cut words. Absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with these die sets, so make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.